What's up everybody? Jason Page here. Welcome back to another video. This light painting video is going to be a vlog style because Stacy and I are on another shark tooth hunting adventure. If you guys have followed the vlogs for a while now, about a year or so ago, Stacy and I went shark tooth hunting and that is when I introduced the portrait light to everyone. I won't be introducing any new tools on this vlog. However, we are staying in an absolutely beautiful property. It's called the Artist Retreat Off-Grid Cabin. We're staying down the road at a campsite and randomly found this place and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a cabin in the woods with very limited power, outdoor shower, outdoor bathroom. It's on 25 acres along a creek called what is it called? Horse, Horse Creek? Creek? Along a creek called Horse Creek. And there are all kinds of spots to light paint. So, I will definitely be light painting here tonight. Stacy might shoot with me tonight if she's up to it, not too tired. She's on her second cup of coffee, so that's a good sign. And uh, anyway, just gonna walk around, show you guys the property. Absolutely gorgeous. Show you a couple places that I've already scoped out that I think I might wanna shoot. And, uh, Catch up with you in a bit. So this is the trail that runs all along the little creek here. Absolutely beautiful. And these are all cypress roots coming up here. If I can ever afford a piece of property, this is what I would love for it to look like. Just the cypress alone is amazing, but to have a creek and water, this is a dream come true. This spot I like a lot because of the trees and the way they're kind of framed coming together like that. So I imagine something right there in the middle. And what I also like about this spot is the roots, how they're exposed here. So I imagine just illuminating the roots. I don't know how bad this spot would be with the mosquitoes because we're right by the water. But if it's not bad, I plan to shoot at that tree tonight. This is the other spot I liked a lot right here on the water. I don't know if you guys are familiar with any of my Lady of the Lake series, but I thought having Stacy here with the water I could do one of the Lady of the Lake series here. Just another beautiful scene here on this property. And then here we have Penny, who's still in the water. <laughs> she is going at it. We introduced Penny to shark tooth hunting today, and Penny has not stopped forever. It's addicting. <laughs> I can't stop. And my, uh, yeah, my, and my hands are numb, my feet are numb. It makes wow. it hard, a little harder to look for shark teeth, but I'm still pushing through. That's right on. So awesome. But yeah, no, this is addicting. So if anybody's wondering, yeah, there are gators in here and snakes and all kinds of stuff, but... Uh, <laughs> Penny don't care. She's finding those teeth. Yeah, yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> I want to point out something that's very important for wildlife, and that is do not feed alligators because what's going to happen is when alligators lose their fear of people and then they start looking to them for food. I'm going to show you this gator right here. See that alligator right there? He's coming to say hi. He has no fear of people. And that's because people have been feeding him. Look at the bunny. <laughs> bunny just ran by. That's what that alligator should be going after. See this? This should not happen. Nothing. Oh look. This is obviously a beautiful piece of property and there are endless possibilities here. Unfortunately, we're only staying here one more night. We stayed last night, but I didn't shoot. We're staying one more night, and uh, I'm gonna make the most of it tonight. So I'm gonna wait for it to get dark, and take you guys along with me. Um, this is the tree that I showed you guys earlier, the one that was kind of framed up. So I'm gonna have her sitting there reading this magical book. It's an absolutely gorgeous night out here. The full moon is shining, it is so beautiful. The bugs are, eh, there's a couple bugs, but it's not too horrible. The settings I'm using for this shot are ISO 100, F5.6, shooting on bulb mode. This is gonna be a pretty long exposure. 
I'll be using a bunch of different tools in this image, but the main tool that I'll be using is the color filter and hood set. The color filter and hoods are great because they allow me to work within the scene without having any of the unwanted light streaks. So as you can see, if I point the light at the camera, you'll see the light source coming out. But when you point it away from the camera, all you're going to get is the projected light. So all the camera is going to record is what the camera is able to see, and that is only the light that is projected outward onto the subject within the scene. Now if I make a mistake and shine it at the camera, you're going to get a, a light streak in there. As long as you don't shine the light directly at the camera, you won't have any unwanted light streaks within your scene. I'm going to go ahead and run through this one here, show you guys exactly how I'm creating it. I'm going to add a little magical kind of sparkly fairy dust stuff at the end of it. I can't show you the tool that creates that just yet. Uh, it's something I'm working on, but it will be released here hopefully in the very near future, and I'll be able to share exactly what I'm using. So that's the only kind of secret part of this image that I'm gonna make. But other than that, I'll show you everything that I'm using, exactly how I'm doing it, and we're gonna go ahead and run through it right now. I'm starting the exposure now. Settings, ISO 100, F5.6, shooting on bulb mode. The first tool that I'm using is the white color hood along with the Coast G26 flashlight. And I'm just using the white color hood to illuminate Stacy and illuminate the dress she's wearing. Now I'm switching to the orange color hood and gonna use that here to illuminate the book itself. Next I'm using the white light pen along with Frank's custom RGB light, but just using the white light from Frank's light here. I'm just writing out some squiggly lines to give the appearance of some writing in the book here. The most important part here is that I'm not blocking the light source from being seen by the camera. So as I'm writing, I'm making sure that I'm kind of off on the side or at an angle so that the camera can pick up that light and record it onto the frame. Now I'm gonna come in with the yellow and the pink color hoods, and I'm just gonna use these lights to light up this scene that would otherwise be dark. I'm gonna be a little wild with the way I'm using these lights, just splashing light all throughout the scene here, making sure, again, just as when I'm writing in the book, the only important part here is that I'm not standing in front of the camera while I'm illuminating anything in the scene. I gotta make sure that the camera is able to see all the light that I'm projecting into the scene here from the color hoods and make sure that gets recorded to the camera. Next up here, I'm using the orange and the purple color hoods. The orange, I'm looking for all the leaves in the scene and stuff like that, and I'm gonna get right in on those leaves to really saturate them with light and color and really make those areas of this scene pop. What you'll notice here is that I'm able to really control where the light goes in this scene. Because I'm using the color hood, I'm only getting that projected light that's gonna be recorded by the camera. I don't have any unwanted light streaks or a bunch of lights spilling off into the scene here. I'm really able to pinpoint and just touch with light the places in the scene that I want to be illuminated. Now I'm coming through here with the purple color hood. I'm gonna add a little color into the trees, but the main thing that I'm doing here is tracing the roots with the purple light hood. Again, I'm getting really close down to the root, almost touching it with the light to really make it pop in this image, as well as make it look like these roots maybe have like some energy or light flowing through them, something like that. Also keeping in mind, Again, that Stacy is the source of the light energy magic in this image. So I'm always trying to trace those roots and make sure I go back to her as a source of light and energy within this image here. For the last part of this image here, I'm gonna add in the sparkly effect to it. Uh, again, sorry I can't show you guys this tool yet. I hope that I will be able to very soon. It's something I'm working on. As soon as I have this thing perfected, I will show it to everybody and uh, share it as soon as I can. Stopping the exposure now, we'll take a look and see what we got. And there you have it. Came out pretty cool, I think. Uh, you can see how the orange in the scene there on the leaves and stuff is really vibrant, as well as the purplish hue on the tree and on the roots there. 
That's because I was in the scene and touching those areas with light, getting really close to them. Uh, Stacy looks pretty well illuminated there, as well as the writing in the book. I tried to make this image so it kind of draws your eye into her, leaving all the outside edges dark. And I really do like that little sparkly effect on the sides there. I think that adds to it, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that tool really soon. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. We got one cool one with Stacy. I'll show you guys that one right now. And then uh, got a pretty cool flower. I kind of want to work on it more, and I'm sure you guys know exactly what that's like. I could be out here all night trying to perfect it, but I'm going to just settle with that one for tonight because I'm tired. We got giant things walking through the woods, and it's a little bit sketchy out here. I'm not going to lie. It's a little scary. I hope this video answers some of your questions about the color hood set and how to use them. Again, what they're great for is illuminating a scene. They, I use them in just about every single one of my light paintings, and they're great because you can light up a scene and you don't have any of the unwanted light streaks from the light source because the hood blocks it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, down in the comment section, I will try to answer anything that I can. And as always, thank you very, very much for all your support and until the next video get out there and get creative